practically drooling over those relics. Does a visit to places such as this make your heart skip a beat as well? Huh? Oh, ho, ho. so you're the living relic Eden discovered. <laughs> a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Luffy Bed Mountain, at your service. I'm not sure why no one has ever stumbled upon this stone chamber up until now, but uh, I guess you're some sort of lucky charm, aren't you? It just so happens that the day you awoke was the day we finally cracked the secret of these five stone murals. These murals of prophecy have been speculated to have been painted by the ancients. They depict the rise and fall of the Kron Kingdom that was central to Balanos. Take a closer look. Who knows? You might be standing in front of your own creations. And you've just forgotten about it. <laughs> A depiction of Noir III of House Bartali. The enormous crown symbolizes his unchallenged authority. The only thing he feared was death itself. One day, an alchemist from across the desert sought audience with Noir III. My master shall grant you eternal life. <laughs> if I heard that, my eyes would be big as dinner plates. Eternal life. Quite the thing to crave, especially in a world where many struggle to eke out a full living, even once. Alas, the prospect of immortality blinded Moir the Third, and he took the alchemist's offer. The blood and organs of one hundred children and maidens, all offered up as sacrifice to the alchemist. The king's madness swept throughout Balanos as the people's resentment reached the heavens. But Noir the Third made no effort to stop the ritual to summon the alchemist's master. By the time the king learned the truth, that the alchemist served the evil god Hadoom, his concerns had narrowed to the point where he cared not of such things. Fortunately, Elion, Arl, and their believers did not remain idle. And the ritual to bring about Hadoom into this world was halted. Though, in doing so, the castle was toppled and shattered to pieces. The mighty kingdom of Kron joined the many other kingdoms lost to history. This was barely over 150 years ago. But do you know what's even more amazing? I, at Luffy Bed Mountain, use the latest advancements in archaeological dating to determine exactly when these murals were constructed. Apparently, these stone murals were made not 150 years ago, but much, much further back. How ever did the ancients peer so far into the future? Ah, right. I've saved the most interesting mural for last. This one depicts a prophecy that's yet come to pass. It's the Breaker of Chains, who freed the vengeful souls sacrificed to summon Hadoom to our realm. Yikes, look at the time. Take this information regarding the final mural and bring it to Martha Keegan down there, will you? You can't miss her. She's unreasonably tall and wears glasses so big you would mistake her for a frog. Just don't listen to her speak, and you will catch wind of her temper. Eesh, I get goose flesh just thinking about it. My word, is that the final mural? And you are... Are you the one Eden described as a living relic he found toppled over? My goodness. My name is Martha Keen, an archaeologist by trade. I guess this too is fate. Should we shake hands or something? Martha! Martha! I found it! Come quickly! Well, no time for handshakes. My, is it just me? Or are we seeing some steady developments after your awakening? If everyone worked towards a single goal in harmony, heaven on earth could be achieved. I swear 
I've seen these writings in an ancient text in Valencia somewhere. An ancient weapon that attacked the ancients. Who could have made such a thing? Is your heart pounding as hard as mine? Every time I make a discovery like this, it's like stealing a swig of light ale stashed away in a Calfionian noble's warehouse. Larfie and Martha from all the way over here. I was wondering who their special guest would be, <laughs> and it was you. You and I have already been introduced, though I believe you've yet to meet my comrade, the beautiful Ganel, or with Eden, come now, quit it! Okay, okay. Greetings. I am Orwen of Ilia. Ah, well, do be careful. The remains of many petrified ancients are strewn about. It appears some unpredictable power remains sealed within this relic. Not to mention the upside-down trees that are rooted around the relic as well. During my brief stay in the forests in the southern territories, I recall reading about them in some forbidden texts. Dabbing in forbidden texts from such a young age? <laughs> I can't imagine, especially considering how prim and proper you are right now. Stand back, right now! My goodness, what are you doing all of a sudden? Are you awake? These are the memories of the forgotten world. Sorry, but you should have known better. suddenly turned pale. Are you okay? You... you remembered something, didn't you? But... why would you do such a thing in front of an ancient relic you've never seen before? Wait, who could it be? You wouldn't have some red-eyed being whispering incessantly in your head now, would you? Ah, it must be a black spirit. Those entities that bring ruin to all who succumb to their whispers. I was joking when I called you a living relic, but now it appears that name was right on the mark. Eden, please, isn't that a bit too much? And yet, it may be wise to tell the others what we've just witnessed. The relic has begun to move. At this rate, the dark energies will. The relic probably awakened after reacting to your black spirit. Be careful. Those spirits will definitely seize any chance to swallow you whole. <laughs> 